Okay, so it has been a really long time since I've been on here, but hey, welcome back. If it's your first time, I'm KB Maria, and you know, I just wanted to come on because I felt moved, and I was like, let me just pull my camera out, you know, just say, hey, what's up? Y'all, I know I've been gone since, I think the last video I put up was probably River's birthday. That was mid-January. It's mid-April, so basically I've just been in the trenches of life. That's the best way I can put it. Like, motherhood, wifehood, careerhood, lifehood, it's just been tough. And then going through all this during a pandemic, and it's just been, it's, been a lot and I started a new job in November so it's um it's been a little challenging so that's why I have taken a back or taken a back seat to like posting and because the crazy thing is I actually have been filming like I have a lot of clips on uh, this SD card that I never uploaded and edited like I, I was vlogging and just wasn't sharing the stuff so I don't know um what I'm gonna do with that but Either way, I just wanted to come in and just talk to you guys like one-on-one -on -one for real for real because, you know, I feel like nowadays a lot of things are very uh, glamorized. Not saying that it's not like that for some people, but for me it is not. And I don't want to come on to my platform and make people feel like, oh, maybe I don't want to be a mom or maybe I don't want this or I don't want that because that's not the case, right? It's just that for me... I have been in the trenches, like I said, it's just been a lot at one time, a lot to deal with. And, you know, shout out to my husband because he has been holding me down, holding me down. But I didn't want to come on here, you know, depressed or anxious or worried or nervous or complaining or sounding ungrateful for the things that I have because, I mean, I mean, I'm sure it's hard for some people probably judging me. I'm standing in my closet right now and like, oh, look at your girl, look at your closet. Like, I get that, right? But I'm not ungrateful. I'm very thankful for everything that doesn't take away the fact that it's been challenging for me to navigate my life, my new life, as I like to call it, because there was a time when I wasn't a mom, when I didn't have two kids, when I didn't work a demanding job, when I wasn't married. You know, these things have all happened within the last five years for me. So it's been challenging. And um, I didn't want to come on here and make it seem like, woe is me. And people are like, I don't want to watch that girl. She said all the time. So I just was like allowing myself to go through this process. I just took that, that time to step back and say, hey, Kim, let's focus on you. Let's focus on your mental health and taking care of these kids and getting in a routine with your new job and this whole work from home, sending your kids home from school when their nose is running because they might have that thing, you know, they're home for a week or the school is closed. And, you know, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot of new stuff that I wasn't expecting. I'm sure nobody was expecting, right? So that's where I've been and I'm here now. Hi, how have you been? I should have said that first. I'm sorry, my apologies. I just had to get that off my chest because, girl, I just wanted to start off the vlog by at least just... Tell me all where I've been. I felt like I owed you that much. And don't mind my mess. I got messed by me. But yeah, so. Yeah, girl. So. All right. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's the next day. Look who's here. What's babe? What's up, y'all? I'm actually about to open up my Sephora package. And I just wanted to show y'all what I got from the Sephora sale. Actually, I got some stuff already upstairs. So I'll show y'all that too. But. Let's open a box. Look at my box. I don't know why it's so big. <clears throat> Ain't worth that much. I re-upped on these uh, Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Essential Peels. If y'all don't know, I take the little pad and I rip it in half. And that way I get twice as many uses out of these. It comes with 88. I be having what? What's that? 176? Is that 88 times 2? That's how many I be having. I got another... Pharmacy Green Clean. This is to remove your makeup. And it's probably like the third time I bought this, but um, it's really nice to put on when you got on the full face to get all that stuff off. This is the Loxiton hand cream. I like to keep these in my purse. This is um, like a skincare set. I bought the, uh, what's this called? Cleanser. The cleanser comes with this. I bought that during the last Sephora sale and I really liked it and I'm almost out of it. And they had the whole acne solution system for the same price as the cleanser. So why wouldn't I just buy the whole system? So it comes with the cleanser, spot treatment, and the moisturizer. 
So I got that. And I'm gonna show y'all what else I got that's upstairs that I already opened. The other stuff that I picked up is this Jo Malone perfume. This is the Sea Daffodil scent. It smells so good. I love this one. Um, so I have that on now, actually. This is the Fenty Beauty, what is this called? Bright Fix in the color 13. This is pumpkin. I use this as a color corrector, like around my, like on my dark spots, like around my mouth, stuff like that. And this is a um, skin tint from YSL. It's called New Bear Look Tint. I got it in the color 19. I almost picked up the 20, which would have been way too dark, but I think the 18, I honestly think I could have gone with the 18, because when I put this on my face, it is darker than my face, but I feel like my face is lighter than my neck. So, I don't know, but it is very, very thin and sheer. It's not like full coverage at all. And I also picked up this NARS concealer in, what color is this? Dark One Cafe. I like this a lot. I wore this the other night, and I thought that I was looking real cute. So, that's what I picked up from Sephora. I think, I think that's everything. This and then that little hand cream. So, yeah. Malcolm's finally putting up August's little name sign on the wall. If y'all didn't know, Malcolm did this wall, okay? Shout out to Handy Husband. I drew a picture. <laughs> it was like, it was real basic, but I took a piece of paper and I just drew a, like a, a rectangle and then I put a line and then two little rows and then a line and two little rows. I'm like, this is what I want. And he brought it to life. So, you know, Malcolm did this wall. He also did the accent wall in our bedroom. So get y'all one of these, okay? Get y'all one of these, Handy Husband. I'll be for hire in like, a year and a half. Okay. So what we're doing now is I ordered this um, name sign for August on Black Friday. <laughs> We've had that for a while, but it never got put up. So Malcolm's about to do it now. You just gonna eyeball it? Yeah. The center? Hold on, let me. No, 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 no. It needs to come to the right. Okay. That. Babe, we can't measure it. Okay, I think that that's good. It's not too yeah, high above much. the. No, what? Mm, I, mm, no, it don't need to be that. Mm, I, what is this marking on here? I have to get a little. Is that too low? Let me see up just a smidge, like right. It, but is because in the it when should it be in line? Bed, when he has his regular bed, we're not taking it down. Okay, so then it needs to be. About there then, because his headboard, if we don't keep the crib, it'll be... I kind of like it like right there. I think that's good. So, yeah, this is his um room. It's actually a sports theme room, as you can see the little pillow and his lamp. Um, I actually have some more stuff that's supposed to be up on these walls. There's nothing up on his walls. We just kind of got in here and hit the ground running, so... We're moving a lot, out a lot of his stuff. He's too big for a lot of the, these little rocker things. He, August ain't trying to stay in that stuff. So, him getting so big. He's almost nine months, y'all. I can't believe it. I feel like he was just born. So, yeah. I'll show y'all when Malcolm's done. Like, that's not going to fall. This can hold 35 pounds. So, it's definitely safe. But it's not going to just fall off the wall? No. Like, what if something, like, bang the wall behind it? It's, so, the concept is... The hook goes into the wall, and the more you pull it, you have to pull it like out and up for it to come out of the wall. So it can't just fall down. It can't just fall down. No. Okay. Because it's like hooked onto the back of the wall, so you have to like, like almost pull it out. And up. Oh, some of the paint got messed up. It's been sitting in the closet for forever. But it says August Malcolm. That's August's name. Oh yeah, it did get marked. You get like a wet paper towel. Oh man. This is really, really nice. I got it off of Etsy. And I will leave a link below so y'all can see it. The only thing is though, his crib is not centered to the wall because we have the uh, the glider over here, which I still use because I nurse him before he goes to sleep. And you know, we rock him and stuff, whatever, sometimes in here. So yeah. It's gonna be so cute. 
It is. I think that blue part, the paint chip. But it's, you can't see it from over here. And I also thought the wood on the sign was darker. Like I picked the darkest stain thinking it would match the crib. But it's it's all good. It's, it's still in line with what we got going on. So it looks good in here. All right, y'all. We're about to tackle this office. It's a mess. It just, it's a mess. It's been storing area for the kids stuff. Stuff they need to leave like the bassinet and that thing there. Oh, this is um I took this out of Rivers Easter. Is this Rivers? It might have been Rivers Easter candy. She can't eat peanuts, so I'm basically saving her life by eating these for her. But um yeah, we got to Yeah. And we need a thumbnail. Oh, I thought she was about to give me a kiss. <laughs> oh, special. Okay, so free us from the shackles of keeping iPhone and iPod accessory boxes forever. I'm gonna throw this away, even though I really don't want to, because I might need this for something. Or what? What if I need to return them? Not one of them crusty ass <laughs> AirPods no more. <laughs> Is it just me? Free me from the shackle. All right, we are off to a good start. The room is emptied out. That bookshelf is a Billy bookshelf from Ikea. What we're likely going to do is get a second one to go on this side of the wall and buy the extender from Ikea that will bring this up a little bit closer to the crown molding. We're gonna buy the doors from Ikea to go on the front of the two to make it kind of look like um, built-ins, but the doors are on the bottom part and then add the rest of the shelving. The shelves are just down in the basement. And then measure in between the two bookshelves and put some type of lower cabinets um, just to mimic a built-in on the wall. So I don't know if you can envision that, but yeah. And I have a desk in my shopping cart. I don't know if I'm gonna get it at Wayfair because y'all, our bedroom <laughs> set, the bed broke and I'm so irritated because we just bought that bed like not even two years ago. It broke in January. It was like a year and a half. So who's, I'm, I don't, I'm not gonna blame Wayfair because they carry multiple brands, but it just irked me to my soul. So I don't know if I wanna get my desk from there. So we're gonna have the desk in the center, the seat behind it facing this way. Everything's coming this way. Hey, hey, you talking? Hey. Ooh, two pencils. Three. Three keys. Chuck a doop. Hey. Hey. You a chunk a chunk. Hey. You sitting up. You're a big boy. Don't eat the camera. Don't take the camera. Hey. Say hey. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm about to give August his first chicken bone. <laughs> you going to... Ew. You going to... Get all the rest of the stuff off. Say hey, boop. Hey. Hey, you had a good day at school? Mmm, you got a good dinner. I'm passing the torch, son. From me to you. What you want to say? Hi, kitty. Hi, what? YouTube. Hi, YouTube. YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Say hey. Hey. Good boop. You got something fun. What? Something from Love Every. <gasps> Isn't that so cool? What is that? 
Yeah. All right, this is the Observer Play Kit for months 37, 38, and 39. This is everything that's inside. Oh, this is the, um. where's our stickers? We gotta find our stickers, boop. Oh. Here they go. <gasps> Look at these. These oh. go inside your shoe to help you do left and right. You know when we put your shoes on in the morning? Oh, yeah. We get to pick a pair of stickers to put inside your shoes. Wait, we'll, we'll do that in a second. Let's show everybody what you got. What'd you get? I got a new surprise. A new surprise at your house, and it's modular, so you can, like, move everything around. It's no. got a little bit. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me put them back. And those are the keys. These are emoticons. They help us describe how we feel on These the inside. The and those are the people. Baby and the, and the cousin. And the cousin, Okay. And this is the Plan Ahead weather board. So it has these cute little acrylic pieces that you can put in front of the tree. So this is for the winter. You can pick the day of the week and plan out what you're doing and where you're gonna be that's home and travel over there. And thunder. That's, what is that, thunder? Thunder. And lightning, yeah. Isn't that so nice? And let's look at our books. <laughs> we got Quiet in My Body. Happy either way, and two big feelings, angry and sad. So these are books about emotions. And we experience big emotions sometimes, right? Yeah. That's so cool. Do you want to open up August Play Kit? Yeah. All right. Ooh. This is so nice. Look, August. We got a toy friend. This is the Explorer Play Kit. You like that? That's August's. Yes, yeah, August. Yeah. Let's see what this is. This is called the... Stainless steel tip and turn with baby ball. And a little ball that goes to it somewhere. Look at these fun rings for stacking. Let's see, let's see what is it? Whoa, this oh, is a big one. This is an egg. Yeah, he's like an egg. Look at this one ball. Oh, look at that big ball. Wow, boo, these are so fun. These containers. He has a book too called How I Feel. Look at how nice that is. Oh, look Ooh, August, look. Look, Mom. Look at it go. I see. It goes really fast. Nice block. Thank you, Lou, Ari. Thank you guys so much for sending this stuff over to River in August. As always, huge fans of Love Every. These toys are so long lasting. Like, they don't chip. The paint doesn't go anywhere. They sustain the test of time and look. baby hands and stuff. And they're so fun. Yes, you can go play. So, we're going to get into this for the rest of the evening, I'm sure. And if you are interested in getting a play kit or anything from Love Every, I always feature them on this channel. I have a link below where you can check them out and get some stuff for yourself. And as you can see, the kids love it. So, thanks again for sending these over to us. And um, I'll see you all on my next video.